Hello friends, welcome to my channel Creating Essence. I am Megan and I am so excited you're here today because I have an unboxing. Uh, if you've been around here long, you know I am an avid gardener and we're building up as jam-packed of a mini homestead as we can on our one and a quarter suburban acres. And this, these two packages, this is my seed haul for the 2019 garden season, guys. I'm so excited. I have not even opened them yet. I wanted to wait and show you all because I just ran in from the mailbox of these. This one is from, can you see that? Am I Gardener. This is Am I Gardener. This is a super special package because on that 18th at 70s homestead which is an amazing channel about homesteaders up in michigan in november i was watching one of their live streams and they were doing a series of giveaways and contests throughout november and i just happened to win one which was the answer to a trivia question <laughs> that the prize was a 25 dollars store credit to M.I. Gardner. And if you know M.I. Gardner, all their seed packets are 99 cents and they are heirloom seeds. So they are good quality. I have been using M.I. Gardner seeds for the last two years, mixed in. I'm not like a diehard to any one place. I like to try different things, different companies, and stick with what works well for us. And I've been really pleased with M.I. Gardner the last two years. And before anybody jumps to conclusions, this is not sponsored, I'm not an affiliate to M.I. Gardner. I've just been watching his channel for like six or seven years now and appreciating his gardening content. And now that he sells seeds, I appreciate those too. The second package is from Baker Creek. Do do. <laughs> Baker Creek is another one. I'm not affiliated with it, but I've been using it for a few years here and there, getting seeds there when they're the company that has them. I use a mix of all different kinds of heirloom seeds and starts that I get locally. I'm really excited to get these seeds today. I'm gonna start with Baker Creek. I'm always excited, honestly, to see what freebie they've sent me this year. <laughs> I think there were two. My order was big enough that I was getting two. <gasps> Valerian. Valerian is one of the seeds that I ordered. Now, there are some great new developments happening on our homestead this year, and we will reveal the details of that in our homestead goals for 2019 video which I will put up an iCard to when that is filmed, but for now, you're just gonna have to see what we're planting and you'll find out later why some of these things. Next up, we have Zinnia, the Queen Lime Red, and I am so excited about these. My youngest daughter is eight and she loves Zinnia. So I got some fun colors this year, including these, the Meteors, which are a brilliant red. And these, the purple prints. Her favorite color is purple too, so that helps. If you were around last year for last year's videos, you know there was a special packet of purple zinnia from Ella's. Unfortunately, we did not get any seeds saved from them last year because the weather just wasn't cooperating that time of year and everything got drenched when it was time to harvest seeds. So we did not save any. It was such a bummer. We also just got a great classic mix of zinnia. So that is four zinnia all together. Really excited about that. Another herb and flower we have is German chamomile this year. We are total tea addicts and I'm really excited about growing our own tea. Another plant sort of medicinal that we're growing this year is mullen. It's a great one for all sorts of maladies, including lung support, and we have a few asthmatics in our family, so I'm excited to start that patch. Another medicinal flower on the list is calendula. Now the last two years I have had calendula in my garden because my friend Jen from the Grateful Sunites sent me calendula seeds saved from her own garden. 
And again, they were a victim of the crummy weather this fall with all the rain that as soon as the seeds were popping out, they got drenched and there is no saving them. So I'm really sad the seeds from Jen are no longer and I can't keep growing the flowers from friends, but we will have calendula once again in the garden. Another thing we're growing this year that's new, banana peppers. My husband is a huge fan of banana peppers and pepperoncini, the pickled banana peppers and things. So it is my goal to grow our own and can them so we don't have to buy them anymore because he loves them. Another pepper in the lineup. We call these lunchbox peppers around here, but Baker Creek's are mini bells. We love these. My kids eat them straight off the plant. They're the only peppers they really enjoy. And last year we used seeds that we had saved from the previous years and they just did not germinate well. So I have to work on my seed saving skills, obviously. But we got some help from Baker Creek this year. And now for the freebies from Baker Creek this year, we have Brunswick cabbage, which is awesome because I had a cabbage on my list and I decided not to do it because I still had a few cabbage seeds from last year's packet from MI Gardener. And the other is Amarillo carrots. That is awesome. I am hoping to do some fun new experiments with growing carrots this year because our carrot growing has not been very successful. So I'm really hoping that um, what we're gonna try new this year will change that. So I'm excited for another carrot variety to try. And now for the MI Gardener package. I was so grateful when Rachel and Todd at that 1870s homestead gave away that uh, that store credit and that I won it because I already had a cart full of seeds from MI Gardener that I wanted to snag when their new things for the year came out in November. And to know that I could get it all and so much more for free was like Christmas. It was so cool. All right, so from MI Gardener, we have catnip. We love growing catnip. We have six cats. Yep, six. <laughs> we just love growing it and the kids love it and I've read a lot about catnip tea so I was thinking of trying some of that too. We got an early variety of straight neck summer squash. These squash bucks here where we live in Virginia are horrendous and we've yet to find anything to successfully combat them no matter how diligent we are. Even down to getting out the uh, shop vac and just sucking them off the plants. This is an early variety that we're really hoping we can get a decent crop out of before the bugs invade. Next, we have Bloomsdale Longstanding Spinach. We eat a lot of spinach. We love spinach. The spinach that I tried last year did not do so well. I don't know if it was the weather or the variety or my lack of skill, but I'm hoping this one's a winner this year. Bunching onions. This is another one that I'm excited about that's gonna be in a new experiment area this year and I'm hoping for great success. Italian oregano. I love growing herbs. I use them all year long. I love dehydrating them. And the last couple of years, I've just gotten a couple of starts from local shops. So I'm excited to start my own this year. Another one that I'm doing my own this year, tarragon. This is one I haven't grown before and it's something that I'm excited to try. Flat leaf parsley. We love parsley, we use lots of parsley. We have two guinea pigs and they eat a lot of parsley. So we are excited to grow even more parsley than we did last year. Slow bolt cilantro. Now we do live in Virginia and we grow cilantro every year. The cooler years it does better, the hotter years it pretty much goes straight to seed. So I decided to try this variety and see if we had better luck with it here in our climate. Another medicinal flower we're doing is the wild bergamot or bee balm. These are great for medicinal things and teas and they're just pretty besides. Another beautiful pollinator attractor that is medicinal is echinacea, the purple cone flower. 
I am really excited to grow these because they're gorgeous and in a couple of years we'll be able to harvest the roots for ourselves, for our own tea, because right now we drink a lot of echinacea tea in the fall and winter. <laughs> Another medicinal flower that is beautiful and useful is borage. I'm just kind of stocking up in medicinal flowers this year, I guess. One of our favorite companion planters is marigold. They're beautiful, they do well with so many things, and I'm excited to try a new variety this year. Our other favorite companion planting flower is nasturtium. We plant nasturtium with all of our cucumbers and squash, and it's beautiful and it's edible and it's really high in vitamin C. Speaking of carrots, we got some purple carrots and some classic Danvers carrots. I am really excited and really hopeful that our plants for carrots do better this year than they have in the past. Another delicious medicinal is lemon balm. I'm very excited to get this in the ground and I feel like I'm saying I'm excited about everything but I am really excited about everything and this is a new thing and the new things always make me particularly excited. And the last three packets, pole beans. That's another new thing. We have done bush beans all along. In the past, we did provider bush beans two years ago, and last year we did a mix of provider bush beans and royal burgundy bush beans. This year, we are trying a new method with inspiration from some other awesome homesteaders to utilize our garden space to the best of our ability by going vertical. We're really hoping that the pole beans help us with that goal. And that is it in this awesome seed haul unboxing. Let me know if you have grown any of these varieties and what you think of them. And let me know if any of these things are new to you too. I'm really excited to let you guys know all the incredible new things going on on our little suburban homestead. Let me know if you have any questions. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Share it if you think it might be helpful to anyone and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Bye friends.